kinunan ninyo ko sa napakainit na salubo na ibinigay ninyo sa akin. Maraming maraming sa akin. Bernstadt, I'd like to thank you for having invited me to be part of the Engineering Seminar and Forum of LSPU, where you have assigned me to speak today about the very interesting but sometimes complex topic of ASEAN integration. This is what the, the, I have been studying the subject as much as I can. And it is a very important, because it is a very important subject na maraming implikasyon sa ating ekonomiya, sa ating mga iba't ibang sektor dito sa ating, dito sa ating bansa. To get the ball rolling, the so-called ASEAN, ASEAN integration has set important targets and milestones for us to be part of our international obligations as members of ASEAN. The deadline, the deadline ay dapat 2015. Pero ito ay recently na-extend, ginawang 2025. And to give you an idea how we are doing so far, according to the ASEAN scorecard, our grade is 87%. Kung baga sa iskwilaan, bali mga B- pa lang tayo. Sa tulong pa lang ng aking grado, kung baga sa buhay estudyante, Parang makakandidato na tayo sa Dean's List. Sabi ng pamahalaan, tayo daw ay handa na. Ngunit may ilang nagsasabi na hindi naman daw talaga tayo handa para rito. Pero ano pa talaga? Ang muna muna, bago natin na mag-aralan yan, ano pa talaga itong ASEAN integration na ating pinag-uusapan? Ano ba ang pakinabang nito sa masang Pilipino? In essence, ASEAN integration calls for the ASEAN economic community which will effectively transform ASEAN into a single market and production base, a highly competitive economic region, a region of equitable economic development, and for a region fully integrated into the global economy. Sa mas makabasang paliwana, isipin natin, ang, as ang ASEAN ay isang barkada ne, na makakapit pare sa isang subdivision. Sabihin na lang natin, halimbawa, dito sa Marangkay Lugal. Ang barkada nito ay nagsimula lamang sa paglalaro ng Holen, Taguan, Patintero, kung sila'y maliit pa. Ngunit hanggang sila'y tumanda ay nagkaroon ng kanilang mga pamilya at nagkaroon ng mga at nanatiling ng magkakapitbahay at magkakabakada. Ngayon, hindi naman natin ang ideya ng ASEAN Economic Community sa magkakapitbahay at magkakabakada nito. Ngayon, sila ay ng desisyon magsama-sama at magsalig pwersa upang makapagtayo ng isang negosyo. O, nasabihin nila, o Coco, ikaw ang bahala sa security at kaayusan. O John Lloyd, at saka Piolo, kayo ang bahala sa sales. Alden, total ikaw ang pinapagaling sa PR, ikaw ang bahala sa marketing at customer relations. May, ikaw na magkahera at magkwenta at mga gastusin sa mga gastusin natin. O yan, binigyan ng trabaho ang bawat isa sa mga kapatada. Ngayon, hindi na lamang sila magkakapitbahay at magkakaibigan magkasosyo na ngayon sila sa isang negosyo. Sama-sama at sabay-sabay sila ang sasama sa pandaydigang merkado. The integration envisions the ASEAN to become one economic region wherein the relations among its members will be characterized by a free flow of capital and investments, free flow of goods, free flow of services, and skilled labor. However, this integration and creation of a single economic community will not be easy and it will not be automatic. And neither will it be simple. The economy of any one country is already complex and sometimes mysterious. However, if you imagine the combination of many countries, the economies of many countries, imagine 
how the different complexities and the mysteries of that combination and the commingling of economies of 10 countries and of 10 countries, you can see that this becomes quite complicated. I read somewhere that even the business, uh, the business magnate, Mani Pangilina, has remarked that complete ASEAN integration will not happen instantaneously and not even perhaps in our lifetime. The economic integration among the countries of the ASEAN region is that complex and is that difficult to discern. Imagine how the European community came to be. It has taken them more, half, more than half a century, several treaties, name changes, countless crises and challenges to get to the point where they are now. But today, they still stand as a force to be reckoned with, strong and stable, with 28 member states and increasing. Aside from the strong external political will that has made possible the forging of international agreements and concessions among the ASEAN, a continuing political will of all the relevant sectors within the individual ASEAN countries is necessary and is essential. For one, laws, rules, policies, institutions, and mechanisms of the individual ASEAN members should be attuned and re-engineered in accordance with this integration plan. Kaya po ngayon, narinig natin ang mga usapin kung sa mga pag-amienda sa mga sinasabing economic provisions sa ating saligang batas upang gawin ito mas bukas para sa mga dayuhan sa ilang partikular ng mga industriya at gawain. On the matter of facilitating a freer transfer of skilled labor, mutual recognition member of agreements or MRAs have already been signed by ASEAN with regard to eight professional services already, namely medical, dental, nursing, accountancy, engineering, architecture, surveying, and tourism professionals. Itong mga area na ito ay napag-agrihan na na ito ay bubuksan para sa lahat ng mga membro ng ASEAN doon sa kanilang mga karat, doon sa ating mga karating na mga bansa. However, aside from these structural changes, of course, all our preparations will necessarily require a corresponding paradigm shift in the mindset and perception of the citizenry as components of the Philippine economy to be subsumed eventually by the bigger ASEAN community. However, according to the ASEAN blueprint, we should now be more open and outward-looking, market-driven in our thinking. Kung dati tayo ay panglokal ang ating pag-iisip, ang ngayon kailangan ang international na dapat. Kung dati, ang laman na ang alam naman natin ay Pinoy, ang nagiging OFWs, ngayon, magbabago na ngayon na. Asahan natin na magkakaroon na rin ng mga doyohan mula sa ASEAN na bansa na magdadami ng dito sa Pilipinas upang magtrabaho at magtayo ng mga kanilang negosyo. At dito pumapasok ang mahalagang papel na gagampanan ng ating sektor ng edukasyon, ng ating mga paaralan, ng ating mga guru, at lalo-lalo na kayo mga mag-aaral. The academic plays a vital role in this whole capacity building and strengthening exercise for the ASEAN integration. The education sector is like a factory that churns out the creative minds and the warm bodies to our economy so that it is effective and gainful in its operation. It will also be crucial and instrumental in triggering this wave of change in the perception amongst our people, beginning with those nurtured within the four walls of the classroom, our students. According to Professor Salazar of the Central Escolar University, the change will only come about if Philippine business, government, together not only bring about this change of mindset, but also to enhance the skills and competencies of Philippine human resources so we can better compete in the area of ASEAN integration. He has hit the nail on the head. 
when he confirmed the symbolic role to be played by the triumvirate in our economy, government, industry, and the academic in beefing up the skills and competencies of our Filipino human resources. To reiterate, the mechanical engineering profession is one of the regionalized profession. Isa ito sa mga nabanggit na profesyon na binubuksan para sa lahat ng mga membro ng ASEAN. You should prepare for foreign competition that will be coming from our ASEAN neighbors. In the same way that you should prepare your skills to be qualified for exportation to other ASEAN countries in the future. According to your program for today, you were supposed to have been oriented with regard to the perks and the perils of working abroad and here at home. Indeed, we should really be prepared to face not only the perks, but also the perils that ASEAN integration portends for our country. Alongside the opportunities offered by the opening of the borders of our ASEAN neighbors to migrating professionals, we should likewise assess the impact of the possibility of the reverse phenomenon. With our local engineers and professionals, will they be able to, be, to, to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with their foreign counterparts with equal, if not better, qualifications and credentials? Will there be a possibility of bias, of favoritism, in favor of foreign applicants and discrimination against local and homegrown applications. Hindi naman siguro huwag naman sana. Therefore, our education sector should be mindful to attune the standards of Philippine engineering education to global standards in an attempt to achieve substantial equivalence of our programs with those of and mutual recognition of our professional qualifications by developed countries. Right now, we are on the provisional status of the Washington Accord since 2013. According to the Philippine Technological Council, we have a period of four years plus an extension of two years within which to comply with the requirements to become as regular members of the Washington Accord. Moreover, our application is on the right track and I have to say that it looks like the chances are very good. The mechanical engineers are the ones who will stand as the ethical vanguard and operators of the formidable machines whirring and purring within the fortresses of our industry. The function and responsibilities of the mechanical engineer in the industry and in society have steadily evolved over the years. The mechanical engineers' indispensable role and continued relevance in society, and more so, we saw her economic potential, are already assured and safely guaranteed under our present set. And so, amid the promises and the challenges of the ASEAN integration, the role, the competitiveness, and the rightful place of the Filipino mechanical engineer and the rest of the Filipino professionals, for that matter, in the national and the entire ASEAN landscape should be preserved and be protected. Everybody will have a distinct role to play in this very large and somewhat complicated exercise. Due to this segment scheme, all of us will have to meet halfway, somewhere, at our agreed line of agreement. Aayusin ang gobyerno ang ekonomiya ng bansa at ikakasa sa ASEAN integration. Ang privado ng sektor din ay magbubukas ng mga kumpanya, mga planta at mga industriya. At kayo, bilang mga engineer, mag-aaral kayo mag kayong mabuti at ipapasa ninyo ang inyong boarding sun. Babantayan kayo ng inyong eskulaan at ng mga guro upang matapad ninyo ito. Likewise, and in return, as future mechanical engineers, all of you swear by the oath of your profession to honor and respect the supreme authority of the state, the rule of law, the primacy of the general welfare, the fundamental rights of persons, and the obligations and privileges of citizens recognized and guaranteed by the Constitution of the Philippines. At isipin ka rin natin ito. 
the bond of the world of our true and our authentic Miss Universe, Pia Alonso Birchbach, show to the world, to ASEAN Rabbi, that you are confidently beautiful with the heart. May puso, compassionate. Ito na siguro ang pinakamahalagang karidad na magbubukod sa atin sa iba pang mga nagubasa sa ASEAN at sa buong mundo. Ipakita at patunayan natin ito sa buong mundo. On my part, as an elected representative of the Filipino people, it has been my guiding principle and my primordial duty to make sure that government is able to lay the building blocks to enable our people to achieve the better and more fulfilling life they aspire to. Buhay na mapayapa, buhay na matimasay, buhay na nakakaluwag. Most especially for the students who are starting to build on their dreams and ambitions within the halls of this, of this school. And also for our unsung heroes, our teachers, who shepherd and inspire the students towards the fulfillment and concretization of their dreams and ambitions. Makakaasa po kayo dyan, makakaasa kayo dyan. Yan po ang aking dakilang hangari sa aking paninilbihan sa Senado. Makakaasa kayo na ito pa rin ang aking ipagpapatuloy. Siyempre po, sa pamamagitan ng isang ng pusong tiwala na walang sawang pagsusunod sa akin. Hanggang sa ating mga tuloy pagkikita sa mga darating na buwan, ika na po sa tamang panahon, kayo na po ang bahala sa akin. Once again, thank you for your kind invitation. Thank you for the wonderful welcome that you have given me. I hope that everyone has had a very meaningful, thought-provoking, and productive system motion this morning. Mabuhay ang mag-aaral ng mga guru at ang buong pamilya ng Laguna State Polytechnic University. Mabuhay ang mga inyayong nikalikaw sa buong bansa. Maraming salamat po. Kalahin kayo lahat ng may kapal. Magandang mga sa'yo.